the contents of this video evade from conventional thought. The ideas here are different from what we are conditioned to think for most of our lives in school and in society. But these lessons have proved valuable to me and I believe truly in them, so I will share it. I'm going to tell you now something that shouldn't be a secret, shouldn't be so little known. And that is, did you know that you are not your thoughts? And it doesn't stop there. You are not your feelings either. Do you want to know what are you? I'm going to tell you. You are your consciousness. And my friends, consciousness has the power to transform everything. Because consciousness comes before your thoughts and before your emotions. Being aware of something, be it internal or external, gives you power to see through the surface into the roots of the situation which allows you to seek a better way and change everything. The way we react to a situation can transform the situation itself. I've heard that from many sources, including Bruce Lee. How you react is more important than the situation itself. Now, we are always, all the time, choosing how we are going to face things, how we are going to feel about things, what kinds of thoughts we are bringing into our minds. We are choosing all the time, but we are mostly not aware of it. But once we get aware that we've had the choice, we can change the way we react to any situation. But, you know, this is not something that just because I'm telling you that you will automatically be able to do it. I realize that this is not something automatic. This is like mastering a technique. It's not easy. You must practice and you must repeat and you must strive. Practice this. Whenever a situation prompts you to have a negative reaction, a destructive one, a reaction that won't make you grow, be aware of it, that you can change your reaction. Something makes you sad, it's okay. Let sadness flow, for emotions are a form of energy. But know that you are not your sadness. Sadness has come to you, but you can learn from it. You can evolve from it. And you must not attach yourself to sadness. Do not identify with sadness or anger or any destructive emotion you find along your life. Do not identify with it. But know it came your way. It may be here now. But this is not you. And you can learn from it. And you are just experimenting a process in your life. And do your best to become a better person after it. Now, sometimes it is overwhelming when anger comes, when doubt comes, despair, anguish. But when you train yourself enough, you might be able to deal with all those things better. And that, my friends, will transform your reality. Again, 
it will not be automatic just by listening to this. It, you will probably not be able to do it perfectly. But if you really wish to go beyond the conventional, if you really wish to stop being a hostage to your situations, if you want to be the master of yourself, you must strive to practice and master this. I am currently in the process of doing that. I am by far not a master. I am learning and I have been seeing improvements and glimpses of results in my life. But I am still a long way far from being totally masterful in this. But the process itself is really rewarding. Again, talking about Bruce Lee, once he said that, that success is a journey, not a destination. So live with courage, live with sincerity, and you will be on another level, living in a higher vibration, living a truer life. <laughs>